Hey guys, so I'm visiting now and we're gonna have a better update this time around and we, we're gonna do some stuff in the video as well. To the Z. Let's put it back together now and we just gotta finish it up. What do we gotta do, like make an intake? Yeah, we gotta cut my trunk so it doesn't suck in water. Uh, put some clamps on, tie the oil lines up and then we're also changing the oil return from the turbo to the oil sump because I don't like how it looks. I'm using AN lines. Yeah. He just got his wisdom teeth out a few days ago, so that's why his mouth looks like super swollen. <laughs> yeah, when I got my wisdom teeth out, I was not going to be ready to work on no car. All right, so what are we doing first? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Probably make the intake. <laughs> yeah. Or, oh yeah, we got to finish the exhaust We're too. We're also going to try to make some wing mounts with that stainless. Oh right yeah, so we, yeah, we got some stainless over there in the corner. Shout out to my uncle. Yeah, shout out to my uncle. <laughs> yeah, we got this big piece we make some brackets out of. And we have a huge wing too, so might mount that today. Oh, and yeah, so. Oh, the jack stands aren't being used. No, they're not. And as a sneak peek for this video, that's Civic over there. I won't focus, but yeah, there's a Civic over there. Should be having a project on that soon, so stay, stay with us on that one. So yeah. Yep, that's a turbo. All right, so yeah, I guess we can start making a bracket for the box since the new turbo changed the bracket, and we can make it look less jank. So I was thinking about pulling this out. Like you pull it out, and have it straight. Yeah. And then just extend his arm. So oh yeah. Can actually, make it straight. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, I'll tack it up and I'll see what you guys think. Yeah. Right now, as you can see, it's kind of crooked. And, yeah, uh, the lines aren't all that great, so I got AM lines. I don't know if you can really see that. It's kind of dark. How do you adjust it? It's on auto so, right now. That's um, the problem. So we actually have a new welder now. And I'm not sure if it's been mentioned, but yeah. And we're actually going to do the intake pipe uh, first because I made a new intake pipe from the turbo that connects the rest of the intercooler piping that we just took off right there. You got to make sure it doesn't have any leaks with our method blowing in it and stuff. Yep, this crazy contraption. So yeah, we'll get that done first. We finished the leak test for the intake piping. We didn't really go super ham on it because we didn't really care too much because a new setup it should be coming again soon in like maybe this summer. But yeah, it's like a little bit, like there's only one coat. Like we didn't really care if it's a thin, you're supposed to do thin and then thick, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Bottom's not really paying because you know. But yeah, we're gonna go tighten the crank pulley on the Z real quick before we forget, before we the test drive on this thing. That would kind of suck. All right, so we're gonna put the crank pulley on hold because uh, it's pulling us, so yeah. Can't do that right now. So we're gonna be working on the exhaust and cutting a hole in the trunk for the intake. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but right there, I was making a mark to drill and I made a Z. I thought that was pretty funny. I think we're just gonna send it and make a fucking three and a half inch straight through. I gotta make a small hole first. Never mind, he wants to make a small hole first. So we made a little hole right there. The homie don't want to focus. Yeah, well he's about to finish up the hole. We're just gonna wait for him to send it. About send it. It's gonna be such an uneven hole. <laughs> Called it, guys. Just send it. I don't want to send it. What's the worst that could happen? Make a hole. <laughs> See, it's not in the hole, so I can't make a perfect. Send it from the bottom. Not nah, terrible. Damn it! I thought it was going. Wait. Wait till dad sees it. He's like, you guys drilled a hole in your foot? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it not fit. Yeah, we turn oh, this man. Ready? Yeah. Turn it. Yeah. Let's turn it a little bit. I think we'll be good. Yeah. Hey. Yee. It's a three and a half hole. Three and a half. Yeah. Air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna get to the piping now for the filter. We should probably vacuum this real quick. Yeah, we'll probably yeah, do that. Yeah, let's do that real quick. <laughs> Before my turbo sucks in more shit. <laughs> 
All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, intake is done. I'm gonna get up the stairs to show you. Yeah. Bozozoko style, guys. Yeah, Bozozoko intake. I'm not sure if you guys seen that yet. Straight from the turbo. All right, so all the pie cuts are done. I mean, I see these go for like 60 for like a 90 degree angle online. I mean, if you guys need some, hit us up. We'll sell you some pie cuts. Not for $60, but for me, we'll sell like all this for 60. <laughs> Quick money. Yeah, I think we could do that. Hit us up. So we measured it, uh, well not measured, we just calculated with the ends, like the straight ends and the 10 degree cuts on each side. This is uh, 180 degrees, including this one, I believe. Just quick math. All right, well, we just wiped it real quick with alcohol. We're not taking because, you know, I haven't mastered take yet. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna make it. We did clean it a bit. We don't have acetone, so we're just using rubbing alcohol. All right, well, we finished watering this. The welds came out decent. Well, pretty nice actually. If we can focus, goddamn, it's focusing on your car. <laughs> there we go. All I do is tap the screen. Mig welds on stainless. First time welding stainless. Yeah, but big. All right, well, we saw on Cletus, uh his tuner. Was nice it? tuner. I think it's uh the guy who has the 240. The guy who has the 240. Yeah, he sprayed some WD-40 on it after the weld and turned brown or something. I guess yeah. I'm was gonna burn this pipe to make it blue or. Well, I'm trying to make it brown. Brown, yeah, whatever. Some color. Yeah, the next thing is we gotta finish this exhaust. If we have enough gas, still we're at 1600, I believe. Yeah, we had enough gas, but uh, it's a little less than 16. Well, Matt's here. I think he's over there watching Z videos like you would think he is. That was not a Z. Oh, what was it? It was a, uh, some sort of Beamer, I think. All right, well, it is in. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to see. We still gotta make a bracket from where the spare tire was. That, that freaking hole thing. So yeah, it won't move everywhere. We're, we're gonna make another 90, but we didn't want to waste the gas. Oh, uh, I guess he did. Oh, there we go. Go straight into the trunk. Under As you see, machine. this box is not connected right now. There's a bracket right here connected to this thing in the jigger, and yeah, it'll be good. All right, so we're done for tonight, and uh, we didn't really film too much of it because, yeah, started the rush. I had to go get swap for my oh stuff for my B swap. Yeah, I got B swap coming. Just gotta go grab some dinner. So, all right, so it's the next day, and we're actually still working on this before the Civic. So. Uncle told us there was a leak. There's definitely a leak. And this looks like it leaks too. Probably gonna still make any pounds. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we couldn't find any gaskets at the local stores. So, we're gonna throw this for a temporary time. And we might just throw the old gasket on, put the layer on where it broke free, and put a layer of this on the outside of the flange so it doesn't leak either. So, if like there's two flanges mated, we would have them right here, like in the middle, right here on, on the outside all the way around. So, as you can see, no you can't, let me turn my brightness up. Alright, that's how the test pipe looks and it's up here so I can't show you, but that's what it looks like. My hands are really dirty so I'm trying my best to hold this, but yeah, car's on, resonator going through, I'm not sure that's cam noise or rough tube noise. Gasket maker stuff for the exhaust, that copper stuff. Seems like it's holding so far, but I don't think it's gonna hold under the boost. The folk here time is like 24 hours, but yeah, we have not been 24 hours. All right, it's about to come out of the garage. No exhaust tip yet. I <laughs> forgot the intake was here. Can I go? Oh, you! <laughs> Just need an exhaust tip. Still got some good clearance. Need a tune now. All right, we're about to go on a drive. We showered, cleaned up. All right, so we have solid mounts in here, and uh, I honestly didn't even notice it until my brother mentioned it. Solid mounts up there for the two motor mounts, one there, one there, and transmission mount, we got a, I don't remember, like a 75A, I don't know. Transmission is 75A, I was right. All right, it's about to move under its own power. You feel the scrapes? I feel like it's gonna scrape. Uh, yeah, probably gonna scrape. Holy shit! Oh my god! That, that's loud as fuck! I don't even 
don't think I hit booze yet. Yeah, I don't think you hit booze. Oh my god. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh god. Dude, oh my god. That sounds so nice. Alright, we're checking codes right now. Hopefully it's nothing bad. Oh, it's probably misfires and IAT, stuff like that. Okay, misfire and multiple misfire. That's yes, all I got. It's tune related. Which <laughs> is always what I had. So. Oh, okay. We're good. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, I was half throttle. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Rolling. Is it quick spool? Yeah, you want me full throttle? That right here. <laughs> is it a lag compared to before? No, man. It's like fucking. Butter now. Instant. Seems to be running good, just needs a tune. Made like 10 pounds yep. uh, accidentally. Yeah, we actually made 10 pounds because, uh, yeah, turn it down a little bit. We're just gonna go really easy on it until we get the tune. Still gotta break her in. Uh, yeah, my boost control is also a little bit broken, so yeah. I don't know how that works. Yeah, it doesn't click, it just turns a little. Alright, guys, today I have the camera and hoping to push about 400 horsepower and maybe like 360 torque. Justin won't be with me today because he's back at college and taking his fine. I believe this video will be mashed up with the other video on us working on the Z, I think. But I'm about to get some gas right now and take it to RZG. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Well guys, I just made it to RZG and there's a lot of cars here today. Um, well, I hope for the best. All right guys, well the Z is about going to dyno. Um, my call is that it's gonna blow. What do you guys think? Bro, it's gonna make power, post, man. Post down in the comments, guys. Maybe a rod's gonna bend or a head gasket's gonna blow up. <laughs> Head's gonna lift. Or maybe my turbo might blow, who knows? My overboost. But ready for that daily, though. <laughs> So it's the day after the dyno and I was a little bit disappointed in what happened. I think the engine's spitting out oil from the oil dipstick because I think my dipstick might be messed up. But we'll double check that. But I didn't make the power I wanted but I still made a, I guess an okay amount. But I made like 350 or 340 wheel horsepower and like 304 torque. More torque than last time but RCG told me that my turbo may have been too small. So what I'm doing right now is I'm swapping out the turbo with my old turbo, the GT35. All right guys, so so far I have gotten a little bit of progress done. I took the downpipe down, my oil sump, and the turbo is, the turbo's about to come down. I just gotta take the T3 off it and the intake and it'll be down. 